Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Renny. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I really do appreciate you for taking your time to watch this video. On my channel, I make content about financial literacy, career development, and lifestyle. So if any of those topics interest you, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. So this video I've been doing for the past two years actually, and this video is all about the best high interest savings accounts in Canada. So in 2020, I did this video and I compared about five or six banks. In 2021, I compared about seven or eight banks. And now you're asking for even more this year and I aim to please. So here it is. Here's the 2022 version of this video. If you want to watch any of those videos, you can watch them above and I will just make sure to link them for you. But of course the rates have changed. So this is the, the best video to watch. I would say if you are trying to open your account now and these rates are all applicable as of April 22nd, 2022. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you give this a like so I can know that I should redo it again, maybe this time next year. Some of the feedback that you all gave me from last year's video was that you wanted me to include more financial institutions. And this year I have delivered on that. I have some financial, I have some banks, some fintech companies, and also I have even a credit union. So that's something new and I'm listening to all the feedback that you have. Another thing that you all asked me to, and I'm gonna read it off here, you all asked me to review the customer service, so whether or not they have good customer service. And of course I can only do that for the banks that I've used. Then next was the referral bonuses. So for example, if I refer you to join the bank that I'm working at, you will get a bonus. And you wanted me to outline if, there, if the bank has that. You also wanted me to let you know if there was a debit card or not. So I think that's something that's pretty important to some people, not me, but to some people it's important. So I will, I made sure to include that for this video and a lot more. Um, I'm really excited to show you all of the different institutions that we have in this video. This is going to be a pretty long video. So if you have a certain financial institution that you wanted to learn more about, you can just use the chapters function and it is down there in the description box and it will basically show you which bank and you can skip to whatever bank that you actually want to know more about. I'm going to try and go through these as quickly as possible just so the video isn't too long, but I know it's going to, it's still going to be pretty long. And if you like this kind of video, make sure that you comment down below which account that you currently have and which one you may be switching over to. I'm not trying to get you to leave your bank, but you know, sometimes there are better options than what we're using. And we know that very well from when I left in my 2020 video, when I left TD to move to EQ, but you know, let's not go into that. Last time in 2021, when I made this video, EQ bank was one of my favorite accounts and spoiler alert, it still is to this day. It still is one of my favorite accounts. It is the one that I use most out of all of the banks. And I also have another account and it's called Neo Financial. I use that as well and I'm really liking them. I'm gonna go through in depth about them, but that one wasn't included last year. I do have affiliate links for each of these banks. So if you did wanna open an account with them, you can, and I'll, again, I'll leave all those links in the description box. It does pay me a small commission if you do open either of those accounts. So just um, just a heads up, but it does not affect anything else. It's not like you don't have to pay or anything. It's just a way to support my channel. So if you want to do that, please use the links that are in my description box. All of the financial institutions that I'm gonna mention today are covered by CDIC insurance. And what that basically means is we have this insurance program here in Canada that certifies that your deposits that you make into financial institutions that are in their membership will be covered up to $100,000. And what that's, this means is that if your financial institution decides to disappear one day and like never come back, don't worry, your money is still safe up to $100,000. And this applies to money that goes into the savings accounts, um, not to any investments that you're making, of course. So no matter what institution you decide to open, whether it's one of the ones I mentioned or some other one, make sure that it is a CDIC member institution. That's very important. So now let's get into the video. I'm gonna comp I'll be looking at my laptop a lot because I have all the details here, but I'm gonna be comparing these financial institutions across these eight categories. First, I'll tell you the account name, of course, and then we're gonna compare against the, the promotions that it currently has, the regular interest rate and versus the promo interest rate that they have, the 
monthly fees that they have, the minimum balance to get the interest rate and the maximum balance if it is listed, the rules to get the interest rate. So if they say that you need to do certain things to get interest rates, we will make sure to cover that. And if there are fees for e-transfers, I will cover that. I'm also going to cover the customer service. This one is only for the banks that I've used, of course. The ease of the use of the bank. So of course, this is also for the banks that I've used. I can only comment on those. And lastly, whether there is a debit card or a credit card. So it's a long list of things, which is why I said the video is going to be long. And for illustration purposes, I think this will help. I'm going to assume that you as a person have $10,000 that you are putting into each account. And if you put that account today and you held it for 12 months, assuming that the rate stayed the same, this is the, um, I'll tell you the amount of interest that you can expect to get. And for all of these bank accounts, the interest is calculated daily on a total closing balance and it, but it is paid monthly. So you, the interest rate is calculated daily paid monthly, but it's an annual interest rate and they're subject to change without notice, of course. So let's review the accounts and I'm going to go from the one with the highest base interest rate to the lowest base interest rate. So let's begin. Okay, so the first account that we have here is Savin Financial. This is one that you all told me to look into. And this one is actually a credit union. So Savin Financial is under First Ontario Credit Union. Their account name is called the High Interest Savings Account and they currently have no promotional interest rate, but their regular base interest rate is 1.75%. And that is the highest of all the banks and the in financial institutions that we're going to mention today. They do have $0 monthly fee, which is interesting. So zero, no, no need to pay any monthly fees, which we love. And then there is no minimum balance for that interest rate. So the second you put money in, you're getting that interest rate. Again, we love that. There are no fees for e-transfers as well and no rules to get the interest rate. So it's pretty good. Like honestly, that's pretty great so far. The ease of use. I have not used this account, so I cannot tell you how easy to use it, it is, but the website was not the most user friendly, I will say. I had a I had struggles on that website. I think the UX, the user experience could be much better. So if that translates to using the account, I think it'll be, it could be a little bit of a struggle. The thing about this bank is they have no debit card or credit card either uh, because of course they are an, uh, all digital banks. So they have no debit card or credit card. That's one thing to note, which is what, and I asked on my story, I have 11,000 uh, followers on my Instagram. So I asked on my story, does anyone know about this bank? Nobody responded saying they've used this. So I don't know. I don't know. And I probably won't open the account just to just for you guys to know. But yeah, that's one thing to note. Nobody nobody had any opinions on it. Next. Uh, and just for the $10,000 balance, if you were to put $10,000 at 1.75%, by the end of the year, you would have $10,175. On to the next bank. The next bank that we have is EQ Bank, and their account is called the Savings Plus Account. They currently have a promo that is valid till May 2nd, and it's a limited time $150 offer. And this is for brand new accounts. So unfortunately, I have a, an account with EQ, but I can't take advantage of this. But if you haven't yet opened your account with EQ, definitely make sure that you take advantage of this. They have a bonus on new accounts when you switch your eligible recurring payroll direct deposit to EQ Bank and you keep it going for at least three months. So if you're someone who gets paid into one of the big banks, for example, your paycheck goes there. If you just switch it into your EQ Bank account for, let's say, the next three months, you will get an extra $150, which is pretty sweet. Their regular interest rate is 1.5% interest. So that's pretty good. Second highest. Pretty good. And they have no monthly fees. They also have no promo interest rate again. They have no minimum balance. So once you have $1 in that account, you know, you're getting that interest, which we love to see. E-transfers are also free and no rules to get that 1.5% interest rate. Okay, so, so now let's get into the ease of use. In my experience, EQ Bank has been extremely easy to use. Um, I use it, as I said, for the majority of my transactions. 
it's I don't know what to say. It's super simple to use. The only thing is there are no checkbooks at EQ. So if you are someone who needs checks, I've I haven't needed a check since I purchased my house. So I don't think many people need checks. But if you are someone who needs checks, EQ Bank currently does not have checkbooks, and they also do not allow for wire transfer. So that's one thing that I faced when I was trying to get paid from someone in the states. They don't offer wire transfers. Not a big deal. I have multiple accounts, so I just use another account. But EQ is my primary account that I'm currently using, and. Customer service was also great. They sometimes have a little bit of a wait, as all the banks do, but I like that they have the option to call you back instead of you waiting on that line and hearing the hold music. Because some other banks that I have, I have to wait and wait and wait until I get a call, but I like that they will just call you back. For referrals, you are able to share your link with a friend if you wanted to, and then you can get $20 free. So that's an option. You can use my code and it will give me a small commission as well. And they have no debit card and no credit card. So if you are someone who loves a credit, a debit card, you can't do it. But you can make all your bill payments. You can do e-transfers, everything like any other larger bank. So this is always my go-to. And if you were to get that $10,000 at this 1.5% interest rate and you deposit it in this bank for one year and the interest rate stayed the same for the entire year, the base what you would get would be $10,150 at the end of the year. But if you did take advantage of the payroll promo, you would actually bump your money up by $150 and get $10,300 by the end of the year. So that's pretty nice. And if you are new to EQ, this would be the time to sign up. This would definitely be the time to sign up. Now let's get into the third financial institution, and this is Neo Financial. This is not a bank, it is a financial institution, a fintech, and their account name is called Neo Money. Their promos, they currently don't have any promo interest rate or, or payroll promo or anything like that, and their regular interest rate is 1.45%, which is pretty good, just 0.05% less than EQ banks. They have zero monthly fees, which is nice. They have zero dollar minimum balance to get your interest rate and they have free e-transfers as well. So what's not to love? They have no rules to get this interest rate. So all you do is sign up, you get that interest rate. Love to see it. In my experience, is it easy to use? Yes, it is extremely easy to use. And I find that because they're a fintech and not like a, a bank, they're extremely modern and they have a sleek design to their app. Even I even have the credit card and their credit card is so pretty. Like compared to most other banks there or most other financial institutions, I would say their products are very modern looking. The user experience is extremely nice in comparison. So that's something to note if you are someone who, who goes for <laughs> those sorts of things. For customer service, I have not had any experience with their customer service because I haven't had any issues because it's so user-friendly and simple to use. The next question is, is there a debit card or is there a credit card? So yes, there is a credit card and it's a cashback credit card. If you want me to do a whole review about that, you can let me know, leave that in the comment section below. Uh, they do not have a debit card. So again, if you're someone who needs a debit card, this is not where this is not the best option for you, but I really do like it. Again, I you can make all your bill payments, you can send e-transfers, you can do everything else. The only thing that I would say about this account is that I use it as a savings account specifically for my travel fund and I just grow my money there and grow, grow, grow. It's not a, a bank yet, but and they are building out new features every single Every, pretty often they're building out new features so I'm sure they'll become more robust as time goes on next let's go on to Coho this one is another one that you all recommended I'd never really used it I've seen lots of ads for it but I've never actually used Coho and Coho is under people's trust company their account name is Coho save I've heard good things about this account they do not have any promos right now but they do have a regular interest rate of 1.2 percent so that's pretty good again higher than all the big banks they have no monthly fees, there's no minimum balance on the interest rate, and there are no fees for e-transfers. So free e-transfers, and there are no rules to sign that you need to fulfill to get the interest rate, which is always good to see. When it comes to ease of use and the customer service, I actually haven't had any experience with this, so I can't really say whether or not the it's easy to use or not. The website was pretty user-friendly, I will say that. When referrals, I didn't see anything on the website that said you will get referrals if you refer a friend. And do they have a debit or a credit card? I did not see like a dedicated debit card, but I saw a prepaid Visa debit card. So that's good because at least you can shop online with it. But yeah, that's all I saw on their website. 
So if you had a $10,000 balance in your account at 1.2%, at the end of the year, you'd have $10,120. Next, let's get into Wealthsimple. Wealthsimple's account is another one that you all asked me to review, and their account is called Wealthsimple Save. Wealthsimple Save has no promo interest rate at this point in time, but they do have a regular interest rate of 0.5%. So we just dropped from 1.2% to 0.5%, and they have, but they also do have free a free account. So no monthly fees, no balance, for, no minimum balance for the interest rate. And but the thing is, they don't have e-transfers. From what I saw, they don't have any e-transfers. So what you have to do is either just transfer it from your account to another bank or you have to use Wealthsimple Cash to transfer to another Wealthsimple Cash user. The only downside about Wealthsimple Cash is that like every the person needs to have Wealthsimple Cash in order to send money to them. So it's similar to Cash App, except it doesn't have not, not enough people have adopted it to get the the same effect as using Cash App. So you know, it's not a, a little not not the best, but I'm sure they're growing and more and more people will be using it soon. I've used it in the past. It's super quick. It's just like e-transfer, except maybe faster than e-transfer. You can request money pretty easily. But again, we need more people to adopt it before it can be an, a substitute for e-transfer. In terms of ease, ease of use, I've used many Wealthsimple products and they're all very easy to use. It's a modern fintech. So, you know, they're they're more modern than the banks and they care about their user experience. When it comes to customer service, I haven't had to deal with any customer service and I've used Wealthsimple for two years. So that's a good sign at least. When it comes to debit or credit cards, they have no debit card, but they do have a prepaid visa credit apparently. I've never seen this. Actually, maybe I have. It's a black card, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it's a prepaid visa credit. So it's not an actual, it's not a the t a traditional credit card, unsecured credit card. And when it comes to the balance, so if you put a $10,000 balance in this account at 0.5% over a year, your total account balance at the end of the year would be $10,050. So now let's go on to the next bank and the next bank is RBC. So a lot of you know RBC, which is Royal Bank of Canada and their account name is the RBC high interest e-savings account. They currently have no promo interest rate, though I know they do often offer them. So that's something to keep in mind. Right now their interest rate is 0.3%. So we just went from 0.5 to 0.3. They have no monthly fee for their account. They have no minimum balance needed to get the interest rate, but they do have a $1 million maximum balance. So once you have over a million dollars in your account, which I don't suggest any of you do, because you should be investing that money. But if you, for some reason, had over a million dollars in your account, then you would actually have to, you wouldn't be getting the interest anymore. They do have a fee for e-transfer, so they charge $1 per e-transfer. And the rules to get the interest rate, there are none. All you do is sign up. When it comes to ease of use, I have not used RBC, so I cannot comment on that. When it comes to customer service, also haven't used it, can't comment on that. When it comes to referrals, I did not see any way for you to refer someone else to RBC and get some money. And when it comes to your debit card or credit card, this is a traditional big bank. So yes, they have both a debit card and a credit card. So if you had a $10,000 balance at 0.3%, at the end of the year, you would have $10,030. Next, let's go on to Scotiabank. Scotiabank's account is called the Scotiabank. Momentum Plus Savings Account, and they, they currently have a promo rate of 2.4%. So that's better than, that's a pretty high promo rate, but let's go into the details because people don't realize the details, okay? So their regular interest rate is actually 0.3%, similar to the one that I mentioned above, and they have zero monthly account fees. However, they have $5 debit transactions. So if you want to take your money out of your account, like just deposit, take it out of your savings account directly, then you would be charged $5. So instead of that, you can transfer the money to your checking account and then go from there and transfer it out from there. When it comes to minimum balance for the interest rate, there's no minimum balance. You can get that interest rate from the beginning, but the rules to get that 2.4% interest rate, let's talk about it. So they have a tiered system where the longer you save, the higher the interest rate that you get. And if you make a debit, tra but they don't, this is in very small print and I only noticed it because I was looking in detail, but if you make a debit transaction during the premium period that they have, you lose all premium interest that they have to offer. 
what is that? What is that? So if you take any of your money from that account, they're like, no, you're not getting interest anymore. And this, and they have another extra 1% bonus and that's valid till August 31st, 2022. So there's a lot going on there, but make sure you read the fine print if you're going to open this account. When it comes to ease of use, customer service, I haven't used it, so I cannot comment on that. When it comes to referrals, I did not see any option to refer someone and get some coin for that. And when it comes to debit card and credit card, again, this is a big bank, traditional bank, so they have both a debit card and a credit card. If I had my $10,000 balance in this account by the end of the year at 0.03%, I would have a grand total of ten thousand and thirty dollars <laughs> yeah not not much but you know it's a savings account we can't expect much or can we we can expect more which is why i suggest the banks that i mentioned earlier but it's all up to you at the end of the day the next bank was hsbc again a first i have never reviewed hsbc but you all asked for it their account was called the hsbc canadian dollar high rate savings account they currently have a promo interest rate of 2.2 percent the way that their interest rate works is if you have zero to $25,000 in their account, you're getting 0.15% interest. If you have 25 to 50K or 25 to 100K actually, then you get 0.45% interest. So the, the interest is still low and the base rate would be 0.15% interest rate. They have no monthly fees and there's no minimum balance for your interest rate, but there's a maximum balance of $1 million and e-transfers are free, which I like. I like that about this. The thing that I did like about this account is that for both new and existing customers, you can get this bonus interest rate. For all, for most of the other organizations, when you want, when they have a promo, it only applies to people who do not have an account. But I like that HSBC allows everyone to get this and it's valid until June 24, 2022. So if you want to open it, make sure you tap in before them. When it comes to ease of use, I have not used it, so I cannot comment. When it comes to customer service, I have not used it, so I cannot comment. When it comes to a debit card, yes, they have a debit card. With the debit card, you have three free transactions, but then you pay $5 per transaction after the third one. When it comes to a credit card, I think I already said, yes, they have a credit card. And then if I had the $10,000 in my account, then by the end of the year, I would have $10,015. Okay, so now let's get on to the next bank. The next bank is Simply Financial, which is a subsidiary of CIBC. So it's basically the digital version of CIBC, which is a larger bank here in Canada, if you don't know. Their account is called the Simply High Interest Savings Account, and I actually do use this account, and I like it for different reasons than I mentioned for the other banks. I like this for a different reason, because it has a debit card, but we'll get into that. So... Let's start off with the promos. Currently, they have a promo of 2.2%, but this is for new customers only, and it ends on April 30th. So hopefully this video is out by then. What the promo is, is that you'll earn $350 if you open a no-fee checking account by May 31st, and you add an eligible direct deposit of uh, at least $100 a month for three straight months. So similar to the EQ Bank promo that they have, you open a direct deposit and you put your paycheck in here, for example, and then you will get $350. So that's a lot of money, to be honest. Their interest rate, however, is not the best. Like their base interest rate is 0.1%, but that $350 kind of makes up for it. So this could be a good option. And I do actually have a link for this. So I'll leave that in the description below. I believe you get $50 when you use my link, but I will double check that and leave it in the description box. There is no monthly fee for this account. There is no minimum balance to get this interest rate. And there is no e-transfer fee. So all great things. The rules to get this interest rate are as follows. Make sure that you open a high interest savings account. And again, it's for new users only. And then all those other rules I mentioned earlier. Ease of use. Okay, let's talk about the ease of use. So far, it's been pretty easy to use the app and everything. However, the sign up was a little bit rocky. When I signed up for this account, it took a while for me to get the card. They sent it and then I didn't receive it for a week a week and a half and I was like what's going on and then once I did receive it once so I asked for a new card to be sent and then there were issues with that but overall like it's not that bad 
But to activate your account, you do need the physical card. So you have to wait for that to be delivered. Once I did get it, then everything was good. Customer service. In my one interaction that I had with them, it was it was great, pretty smooth, no complaints about that. Referrals. If you share your link with somebody else, as I just said, you'll get $50 free and your friend will also get $50. So I will make sure to send you my link and you can use my link and get that money if you want to open this account. Do they have a debit card? Yes, they do. Do they have a credit card? Yes, they do. So that's the good thing about this they are one of the few fully digital banks that also have a debit card and a credit card so that means you can go in person and use that card and yeah it's pretty nice to use uh if you are someone who needs a debit card again i'm not someone who typically cares about a debit card so it's not a big deal to me but if you are you can withdraw money from a any cibc atm so let's talk about the $10,000 balance that you have. If you have a $10,000 balance at 0.1% interest for one year, then you would get $10,010. If you use that payroll promo, that's an extra $350, so you'd have $10,360. So that's pretty good. I think that may be one of the highest so far. Next bank, let's get into it. Next bank is Tangerine. Tangerine is a subsidiary of of Scotiabank actually. So the same way that Simply is a subsidiary of CIBC, Tangerine is a subsidiary of Scotiabank. So online version of Scotiabank. Their account is the savings account and they have a promo rate of 2.5% right now. So that's a good promo rate, but their regular interest rate again, is pretty low. It's 0.1%. Their monthly fee is $0. Their minimum balance that you need in the account is $0. Their e-transfer fee is also $0. And their, but they do have a few rules if you want to get that 2.5% interest rate. If you want to get that rate, what you need to do is become a client by May 5th, 2022 and use the promo code EARNMORE. If you do that, within the first 30 days, you have to open a savings account and a checking account, and then you'll earn 2.5%, but only for five months. So they don't really tell anyone this but the it's it's in the fine print you only earn that promo rate for five months so what some people do is they actually put their money in there and then for five months after five months they'll take it out and put it in another bank like eq which will give you a consistent uh that will give you a consistent interest rate so something to consider i know that's a lot of work i personally don't have the energy for that but i've never used this account and they also have one of those payroll bonuses where you'll earn a 300 dollar bonus after the third month if you keep doing those regular deposits into your checking account. For ease of use and customer service, again, I haven't used this account, so I can't say anything about that. They have both a debit and a credit card. And again, if you had that $10,000 in balance in the account at 0.1%, the base at the end of the year, you would have $10,010. And if you use that promo, you would also get that payroll promo of $300, which would bring your totals to $10,310. So not bad. Only, but I guess it. I would go with this one if you were going to use that payroll promo. If you weren't going to, it doesn't really make sense. Next, let's get into BMO. BMO's account is called the Savings Builder, and they have a promo interest rate of 0.5%. So the base interest rate is actually 0.05%, and then you get that extra 0.45% with the promo. They are they have no monthly fees for this account, but in order to get the interest rate, you actually have to put $200 each month into the account, and then you will get the promo rate. If you put in $1 or less than $200, for example, then you will only get the 0.05, but once you put at least $200 each month, you will get 0. 5% in total. So that's a nice incentive for you to keep in putting your money because you'll get more interest the more money you put in. However, I would say that you can probably get a better interest rate at EQ, Neo, Simply, anywhere, pretty much. So yeah, that's something to consider. The bonus interest is eligible onto balances up to $250, but the base interest will be paid on any balance no matter how much that you have. I couldn't find how much e-transfers cost for some reason. And for ease of use, I've used this account I'd say it's very easy to use. I didn't have any issues with it. Customer service was also good. No complaints about that. And I didn't see any options to get a referral fee or any referral bonus when you refer someone to it. Do they have a debit card? Yes, they do. You get one free withdrawal. And then after that, it's $5 per withdrawal. And then they have a credit card as well. With this credit card, 
I believe it's a MasterCard, so you can get a MasterCard with them. If you had that $10,000 balance at 0.05%, the base rate, then you will have a total of $10,005 by the end of the year. So not much at all. And now you can see we're getting lower and lower. We started at $10,175. Now we're getting down to $10,005. And TD Bank is actually the exact same. So this is the next bank. They have their TD High Interest Savings Account. There is no promo interest rate. They have a 0.05% regular interest rate and that's only if you have over five thousand dollars in your account if you have less than five thousand dollars in your account you actually get zero dollars in interest and most people don't know that i only knew that once i was recording this video for the first time in 2020 and realized that i was getting no interest in my account so if you want interest and you have less than five thousand dollars this is not the account for you at td they have no account fees so no monthly account fee but there's five dollars per transaction that you do. So every time you take out your money, $5, unless you have a $25,000 balance in the account. And in that case, if you do have that, then they actually waive the fee for you. So that's good. But most people, I don't really suggest people keep $25,000 in a savings account, to be very honest. The e-transfer fee is $5 from what I researched. There was conflicting information, but it seemed like it was $5 per transaction for if you send it from your savings account. I think you can typically send to your checking account and then send the transfer from there instead to bypass that. For ease of use, I would say TD has a very easy to use platform and very user friendly. And then when it comes to re uh, referrals, I didn't see any option for to get referrals or anything like that. They have a debit card and they have a Visa credit card. And then with a $10,000 balance, same thing, you would get $10,005 by the end of the year. Now we're at the very last one. And you may be thinking, what could be less than TD? What account could possibly pay me less in, in interest than 0.5%? And this one is actually PC Financial. I actually love PC Financial. So this was interesting to see, but their account is called the PC Money Account. And in this account, you get no interest at all. So there's zero percent interest. If you put $10,000, if you put $100,000, you're getting zero percent interest. But the benefit of this account is that you get PC optimum points for every $1 that you spend. So the month, so what that means is that if I spend ca my cash, I'm still getting points. And this is a very unique system, which I don't think many other banks have. I don't think any other banks have this option. Usually you have to use your debit card, your credit card in order to get bonuses or any perks. But here they're actually giving you perks for using your debit card, which I like because some people aren't comfortable using a credit card. So this is a good option for them. PC Financial has no monthly fee. They have no e-transfer fee. And there are no rules, obviously, to get those PC points. Everyone can get them. I personally love PC Optimum. I use it all the time to get free groceries. So I do like this. I do like their credit card a lot more because the credit cards are basically an interest-free loan for a certain period of time. So I like to purchase on my credit card and still get PC Optimum points. And for ease of use, it, the account is very easy to use and points are redeemable for groceries and other things. When it comes to customer service, I haven't had to use their customer service, so I don't have any comments on that. And when it comes to a debit or credit card, yes, they have a Visa debit and then they have a credit card as well. I love their credit card. As I said, if you want me to do a full video reviewing it, let me know and I can do that for you. So so grand total, if you were to put $10,000 by the end of this year, you would have a whopping $10,000, but maybe some free groceries to go along with it. So this was a long video, but I appreciate you if you got this far. If you did get this far, make sure to hit that like button. Overall, I would say there are so many great options to choose from, and it's just up to you to pick which one is right for you. As I said, you want to be mindful of companies that offer you a free or a great promo interest rate, but then maybe a few months later, you're getting next to nothing in interest. You also maybe want to take advantage of those payroll deposit programs. If you are someone who's actually going to switch your payroll to this bank or a financial institution, that's a great way to get some extra money into your account. So as you can clearly tell, I am a huge fan of both EQ Bank and Neo Financial. If you want to use any of those, please make sure to use the link in my description box. Again, it really does mean a lot to me and it supports my channel. And if you use that Neo Money account, then you're also gonna get $20 for free, which is really a really nice bonus for you to have. So let me know, which account are you considering opening? What surprised you in this video? Are you closing any accounts? Let me know, I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.